workflow lets you automate your business activities based on specified execution parameters to eliminate the manual work of performing the actions with help of additional rule criteria if needed. These actions can be set as instant action or condition-based actions for sending email notifications, assigning tasks, updating certain fields of a record, and so on. Let us now have a look and learn how to create it. Use the navigation panel on your left and click on the more icon to choose from the list of the options and select workflow. Alternatively, you could also access them by clicking on your profile icon on the top right corner, choose setup and further navigate on the sales automation section to find workflow management. Click on the add a new rule button to get started. A workflow automation consists of the following elements. The first step on the basic information section would be selecting a module on which you wish to execute the workflow. It could be contact, company, activity or deal. Let's select deal here. This means the workflow will run based on the corresponding action taken in the deal module. Mention the rule name and the description. Enabling the active button will allow your workflow to execute with related actions set in your workflow and locking it will prevent further updates and deletion of the workflow by other users apart from the workflow creator. Click on the next and proceed. Specify the execute on criteria based on which you wish to trigger the workflow. Choose from the list of the available options depending on your use case. Let us understand each of them in detail. If you select create, it will execute the workflow when a new record is created. With update, it will execute only when a record is updated. Similarly, with create or update, the workflow is executed every single time the record is created or updated to modify the fields. Field update helps you if you want to trigger the automation with specific field condition only. For an example, when the deal's movement is captured in a specific pipeline and from a specific stage to another. You can keep on adding conditions here or simply remove them if you do not want them anymore. When you have multiple conditions defined here, we recommend you choose the execution rule for it. Should Seismet execute the rule when either all conditions are met or any of it? Delete execution is simple. It will trigger when any deal is deleted from the system. Date based helps you when you want to get an email reminder a week before a deal's expected closing date or may want to send an email to a customer reminding them of a monthly rentals or subscription renewals. It also helps in automating birthday or anniversary messages along with other date-based events. With activity-based, one can plan the execution either when a note is added or any file is attached in the deal. You can choose the action by user. With rule criteria, you define the scenario when the workflow should be executed. For instance, execute the workflow only if specific tags are added or any other conditions are met. Configure endo blocks with nested conditions that is use the any or all toggle to define whether you want a few or all conditions to be met for the workflow to be executed. Lastly, configure the actions that should be executed when the condition of your workflow are met. Choose from an area of actions that should be performed based on conditions. For instance, if you want to send emails, choose send alerts by clicking on add icon here. Define the alert name. Choose the email template or create the one. To know more about creating email templates, please refer to the link in the description box below. Now select from and reply to email address followed by email recipients and additional recipients if needed. You can also track the email open and click rates and append the signature of the sender. Save it and your email is all set to float to your customers. Similarly, for creating a new deal via workflows, define the title, pipeline, stages 
and enter the other relevant details and save. You can also assign activity to your teammates right from here. Define the activity title to state its purpose. Select type of activity and its execution time. Allocate the owner of any other important information you feel like adding and save it. With update fields, you can amend the field of the deal, contact or the company. You will just have to give it a suitable name, search for a user and a contact. Now select either of the modules whose field you would like to update. Say like updating a contact type. You can also add a condition and apply another field update action. Let's update the deals tab. Hit on save. That's it. Now let us understand webhook. Seismet's API supports representational state transfer. This means you can set an API that perform restful operations, reading, modifying, adding or deleting data from the CRM. You can choose one of the following request type while configuring your webhook. Request type get helps in fetching one or more objects. Post is used to create an object. Put helps in updating an object. Delete helps in removing an object. In the case of our example, we are choosing put as we are updating an API request of copying the contact address field in a company address field and the URL to notify. The URL of the app or web service that's hit by the API request is called a callback URL. In case of our example, we are trying to update the company address. So we can use the company page URL for updating a company. Here URL will be replaced with your domain name. Let us go to the header section and fill key and its respective values. Please make sure you fill the values in the exact same manner as shown here. Contact type and put the value as the application or JSON. Add another key as the access token. You will be able to locate it from the profile icon followed by SS key and session token. X link name will be your seismic domain name. Now move to body section and select encoding type as raw and JSON. Now in the raw body section, enter the script as shown. Click on save and you are done. At any point in time, when you create a contact, its address field will be automatically copied to its associated company address field as well. The last action is to enroll to sequence. Select the sequence and its stage from where you would like to enroll the contact. Now select the enroll by teammate's name and the execution criteria. It can be either immediate or you can schedule it after certain days. It means the contact will be enrolled after the number of days you defined here. Click on save and you are done. You can manage the right for the users in your team from the profile icon followed by setup. As you scroll down here, under users and security section, you will find profile permissions. Click on edit or respective profile that you wish to manage. Now, under admin operations, you will find the toggle button for managing the rights for workflows. That's all about creating a workflow with Seismith CRM. Now, you can improve efficiency by eliminating the manual work of assigning tasks and reducing the operational cost. Subscribe to the SalesMate YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay updated on our new features, releases, and insightful videos.